Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I am using the new dog items in store and this fabulous circle template which I have a prototype there but it's a fabulous template. Um, you can you can draw circles with it, obviously, um, and they're all measured out so that it tells you the size of each of the circle on the uh, on the proper ones. It's very cool, and I want to do some playing with them today. So I also have um, what you'll have seen there is some pom pom ribbon, and that round circular thing with the holes. I don't actually use that, but this is my favourite new thing. It's <laughs> it's got lots of holes in it, obviously. And what it's for is so that you can do um, stitching in a perfect circle. So the holes are evenly spaced. So you just do your little punch in each hole and you've got the perfect circle for stitching. So check that out in store. Um, I think it will be in the store by the time you are watching this. But if not, um, be patient. It will be there soon. So I'm using the largest of these um, circles and I'm just drawing around it and I'm going to cut it out. I was just trying to use my rotary cutter there, but it, the circle template was getting in the way of it, so um, it wasn't going right through. So I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Um, circles are pretty easy to cut. One tip I will give you, though, is to cut the inside first because it makes it easier um, when you want to when you want to cut it if the outside's square. I don't know. I don't know if it's easier for everyone, it's easier for me. So this was quite awkward cutting the inside out because I'd cut the outside of the circle first. But once I got into the swing of it, I was going around pretty fast. And circles are pretty easy to cut out, let's be honest. There we go. So that's, um, that's one. And then I'm gonna use the second size of template to cut out the um, yellow circle. And then um, I will be using the third to cut out a blue circle, which I think I'm going to skip through. I've switched to my craft knife now to cut out, so it was making it a bit easier. Okay, so I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna do with the circles on the page, and I'm gonna sort of do that with the black one hanging off the edge a little, so it's a bit lopsided. And I decide to cut out a small black one for the center so that my photo can sit on it to make it pop a bit more. And you'll notice my photo has the same colors as this um, collection. This is lemon vintage lemon twist from Simple Stories. And I did change the color of my sweatshirt just a smidge because it was a bit more of an orangey yellow originally. So I changed it to a more yellowy yellow and that matches perfectly. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what we do to make our make our collections match our photos. Well, I do. Maybe not everybody does that. Maybe that's just a Vicky thing. Anyway, so I'm sticking my circles down so that they're staying in place. That's just um, tacky, uh, not tacky glue. It's scotch. Yeah, scotch tacky glue. That's what it is. Um, but obviously there's lots of different tacky glues. I just I just like that one in particular. It sticks well. There's the perspective I'm going to use. It says dog's life and that's um, in a very dark grey which looks great with this collection too. And I'm just pulling out some bits and pieces from the Simple Stories collection to go around my photo. And I'm glad I put that black there because it really makes everything pop off of it. Okay, I love this big piece here. And so I'm just putting some powder on the back of it. That stops it sticking to my page while I decide where it's going to go. And um, just a little tip there. If ever you want to just move things around, but you don't want to stick them yet. And then you just use glue to stick them. So um, yeah, that works well. These foam stickers from Simple Stories are really sticky. Once they're stuck, they're stuck. So you don't want to get them on your page by accident. I've done that before. <laughs> it's not pretty. Okay, I think about using one of the frame chipboard frames, but it just doesn't work with my title because my title works better on the left and that cluster on the frame is on the left. So I forget that idea for now. 
well, no, I forget it completely, to be fair. So I'm still just playing. Um, this is just my process. I move things around so much before I actually decide where I'm going to put them. I like that little dog sleeping on top of the title. The photo is, um, we had our friend's dog staying with us for, um, for a week and she was very cuddly. So I just uh, caught a little photo of her cuddling into me. I'm using this fabulous pom-pom. There's lots of different colours. I think there's black and white and then there's yellow, sort of a mint colour and a pink colour in the store. So go check those out. They're really cool. I love pom-pom trim. And uh, I think it looks really nice in there with that bright yellow colouring. I'm putting it all round the circle at the moment, but actually I do cut some of it off because it gets in the way of my photo and my embellishments. But not that you can see on the final layout, but um, you'll see what I mean in a second. It's quite 3D. Things are sitting up quite proud of the page in places on this. So um, I like a bit of 3D. I can't fit that many layouts into my album, so that's probably my biggest problem at the moment is lack of lay lack of albums for all my layouts because they're so 3D. Okay, I'm just reassembling it, just trying to figure out how it's going to look. And I'm going to put some foam on the photos. So the corner bits of the photos that sort of going over that pom-pom. Um, but this is where you see I decide that it's got to go. This little bit's got to go so that my photo can fit there and stick down. So that works better. And now I can put some foam on the other corner of the photo. I didn't put it on the other two corners. One is slightly sitting onto the pom-pom and the other is sitting onto the chipboard piece up there. So um, I just wanted to balance it out a little. It's not perfect because, to be honest, the... Um, it moves around a bit still, but I, I'm fine with that. Okay. That dog's so cute sleeping there. I love him. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Here we go. Just thinking whether I might use that extra piece. Try to stick down my um, chipboard there. I did cut a bit off of that. You might have seen that earlier just to make it fit under the photo. I just wanted the lemon to show. Still trying to get this on. I decided to take out that other piece of rickrack as well. Rickrack, sorry, pom-pom as well because um, you can't see it. And that that um, branch of leaves kind of goes round in a sort of a semicircular fashion. So it sort of follows the line of the circle anyway. So... I thought that worked well. So I'm going to stick down my title. I'm just sticking it to the photo and I'm putting a little bit of glue on my pom-poms as well. That takes a while to dry on there, so um, I just left it. And now, um, this morning, as when I'm doing this voiceover, it's solid on there. So, um, yeah, just be patient with it. It might fall around a bit to start with. Okay, I'm just finding some more embellishments to go on here. And I decide I want to put some florals around the um, the inner circle as well and I'm just choosing the ones in the same color as the as the others that I have on there so predominantly that sort of tealy color putting a bit of foam on them so that it just adds an extra bit of dimension there we go just sticking those down you would have seen the dog's, dog's title just moved a little bit then um, and and it did a few times. I just had to keep making sure it was put back. And then I put a mug on top of it just to hold it down before, for it to dry. There we go. So I've just got those on. And then I'm going to put a little title at the bottom. That says squeeze me. And I was squeezing her tight as I was cuddling her. So I thought that was appropriate. Still trying to see what to do with that little piece of rickrack. But I don't use it. Um... I put on some hearts here in corresponding colours. I think I put on about five. And then that's it. That will be the final layer, which will come up in just a second for you to have a look at. I think. Oh, butterfly. Of course, what would it be without a butterfly? Just there on the pom-poms. 
And that's it, there's the final layout. I hope it's inspired you and I hope it's shown you how you can use these circle templates, which are fabulous. Go check them out in store. And um, there are some close-ups coming up as well for you to have a look at. If you have any questions, do let me know. Otherwise, I will link up those products for you um, if they're in store when I'm doing this. Um, and I'll come back to do it later if they're not. But um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye.